One of the biggest disappointments in my life right now is not keeping all the old power banks and all the old laptop batteries that I used to have. And especially working in IT myself and having access to all this e-waste that I've just dumped to these recycling centers, I wish I could have kept them and used them for spare parts. And that changed today. I've kept an old power bank and I've ripped it apart because I want to see what's inside and I want to keep and salvage the battery that was inside. So what was happening was the power bank works, doesn't last very long, and no matter how long I charge it, it only gets to this one LED up there. So I ripped it apart. I didn't show you that process because I wasn't even sure if I would get this apart. But with some patience and some frustration, I did crack it open with uh, a flathead screwdriver, a stealing knife, and some pliers. This is the aftermath. And what's inside is the first look at a lithium polymer cell, for me anyway. So, I mean, I wasn't too fussed about this getting damaged because it wasn't charging up properly anyway. It's got some battle scars. I think if I still push this button, it should still light up with, yeah, the one LED. But what I'm going to do is uh, desolder the two ends here and get rid of this board because it doesn't seem to be doing its job charging anyway. And we're going to read the voltage of this cell, see what we're at. So I am waiting on some TP4056 uh, charging boards, but I haven't arrived yet. So what I'm going to do is charge it up to 4.2 volts, because I think that's the correct charging voltage for a single cell like this. And I'm going to use a a buck converter. So I'll, I'll just use USB, because USB can provide... 5 volts and I'll reduce it to 4.2 and just keep an eye on the voltage. Yeah, so I'll desolder this, check the voltage and charge it up and we'll go from there. Alright, I had problems removing the solder connection so I just kind of snipped it off as best as I could. And now we're going to check the voltage of the pack and we are at 3. 62 volts so that's not too bad that's not too bad okay this is my hack to drain the battery a little bit so i've got it hooked up to my diy voltmeter ammeter it's coming in handy input is the battery 3.5 volts and the output is my 10 watt 10 ohm resistor and 0.36 amps so we'll discharge that and then hook up the charger again and see if we can actually charge it up. So an update, I've discharged this with the resistor as I've shown previously. Now I was going to check the voltage again of the pack with my multimeter just to be extra sure. And that is reading 3.51 volts. 3.51 volts at rest is about 20% state of charge. So we're now going to connect the charger up. So as you can see, my voltmeter ammeter is reading 4.1 volts at the output of it. Let's just turn that up a little bit more. We I think it's this trim pot. 4.2, because that's what we need to get to. And then we will hook up the charger to here. And there we go. We, we've just seen it drop down in voltage because it's at 3.6, the battery. And we're pushing 0.31 amps into it. So I will check back in a little bit later to see if it's actually gone up to the 4.2 volts fully charged or thereabouts. The next morning. If you're still here for this part of the video, I was trying to charge it up with the XL4015, which is the buck converter. I think it did work to an extent, but 
it didn't fully get up to the 4.2 volts, which I wanted it to do. I don't know what the limitations of that buck converter was, or it was just too low of a current, or for whatever reason, I couldn't charge it up all the way, which I wanted to do. Now, I didn't realize that my local Bunnings store sells these um, lithium battery USB charger modules, and these are basically like your TP4056, I think it is, single cell battery chargers, which I do have a lot of these coming, but they're not here yet. I think I got a pack of 10 for like five bucks or something. Uh, Timu AliExpress, can't remember where it's coming from. But I need one right now, I want to charge this up. And um, these are for, well they're in the Arduino section in JCAR. And I think this came to 595, so good to have um, locally. So thank you JCAR for that. And this is a um, step up module to five volts, but I think it starts at uh, two point something volts. So well, that's really good because um, I can get five volts out of this in the one little module. So I don't have to use, I think I've got something else in order for that. The MT3608, that's a step up converter, but you need to kind of solder it on your own uh, USB PML plug and adjust the voltage to five volts. So this is a, another little thing from JCAR. It's about five bucks, five, six dollars. Good to have. So what we're going to do is we'll test the voltage, see what this pack is at at the moment. 3.6 volts. So what I'll do is I'll attach the USB module here. And there we go, we have the LED, it's lit up. Let's get this out of the way. And the load, we will just chuck this little LED lamp. There we have it, it works. We're getting five volts out of this pack. Awesome. Now let's try the charging module to see if that works. So it charges for, oh, this charges via uh, is that mic? It's not even mic, that's, that's mini USB. Yeah, it's mini USB. So it's kind of like a TP4056, 40, 40, but we get a charge via micro USB, or I can solder on input, uh, solder in onto the in and in positive, in negative. We do have an LED going, and the voltage has risen to 3.64. Take it off, 3.6, and the blue light goes on. Isn't that awesome? So yeah, now I'm going to be able to charge up this pack, and I can get 5 volt power out of it. And what's coming in the mail is I've got a 1S BMS, so when this was attached to my power bank, it didn't even have a BMS, it just has the the overcharging protection module and the charging module, but no uh, under voltage disconnect. So with my BMS, it'll have all that in one. So yes, so this is my bare uh, lithium iron polymer pack, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but now I can charge it, I can use it. I have a Jiffy box, which... I may or may not use. I have a 5 volt, I think it's a 5 volt LED for a little flashlight on it. We have a resistor because I think that might, I don't think this is 5 volts actually, maybe it's 3.2, can't remember. But I have a resistor so um, I don't burn out that LED. And we've also got 5 millimeter LED bezels. So yes, so this lithium iron polymer cell still works. We're going to repurpose it into something. So subscribe and we will look at it in a future video. Thank you and catch you in the next one.